Hey guys, it's Anne over at Plan Obsessed. And today we're looking in on the European Nightcrawler only bins. Now we've got two different kinds of bins. We have got the tall but narrow, and then we have the short and wide. And this one right here is the tall and narrow. So let's take a look and see what we've got. Oh, looks like I got a cocoon right there. So they must be happy. So let's look and see what they're doing with the food. I'm always excited to see the European Nightcrawler worm balls because they're a bigger worm and it's just more impressive, I think. Oh, and there's like a brand new cocoon. Can you see how yellow it is? Almost yellow green. All right, I'm seeing a lot of melon seeds but no melon. Hmm. Interesting. So no worm ball, just random worm. Okay, maybe that's not where I fed last. This is a little wet in here. Nothing to worry about. Not yet. I'm seeing what melon rind. That is another thing about having these deeper bins. It's harder to track down where you fed previously. I had a nice size worm. Not a worm ball, but, oh, wait, here we go. Ugh, found the carrots. All right, well, the worm ball is not a worm ball of a lot of super big worms, but. Oh, let's see, avocado seed. Hmm, you can see this guy. He is on a mission. You can see his, he almost looks like a boa constrictor. And you can see all the castings in him. Alright, buddy. I'll let you get back in there. But it is about 56 degrees in the basement here. Hopefully we'll get some warmer weather and I just love them. They're just so such fat little happy worms. Can't help it. Put those two together back in there, see if they can take a hint. Hint, hint. I would like more grandbaby worms. All right, let's get them a little more fast food over here. Looks like they're down to the carrots. So we will feed on this end and Get them some fast food. All right. So they're going to get a, a frozen apple, banana, little lemon, tea bag, some little orange, oranges that didn't make it. And I'm going to give them a little grit just in case, you know, there's too much acidity. And that's, that's oyster shell and eggshell both. Both get ground up very nicely in a regular coffee grinder. Um, you know, they're not very expensive. You can get them at Walmart for like 10 bucks. Uh, makes my life easier. All right, well, we'll just cover those guys back up and then we can take a look at the next bin. All right, let's move you over. All right, this is what I'm calling the short wide. And I'm seeing something interesting on the top here that I haven't seen previously. So I may take a page out of AV's book and let this run for a little while. Look at all this here. 
and I'm going to put them both close to each other so when I blow it up I can see it better. But those look like they could be mites. They're not potworms. They're moving slow enough I can't see them right now. So I'm going to let the camera run and then we'll have a look at it together. Okay. Well, we will look at that together later. All right, so I'm going to just turn everything up here and see what I've got in the food department. Ooh, there we go. Making me more worms. They must have heard me. All right, we'll put that back over there and hopefully we haven't disturbed anything. Look at that. They all heard me. All right. Put you guys back in there. Must have had Barry White playing in the background or something. Okay. Well, I am pretty interested to see what the mite situation looks like. Um, in my opinion, when you see a lot of creatures, not worms, getting into something, it's an indication that um, they're needed and that they, um, they can't do it on their own. So the worms, you know, can't eat it. The mites come in and break things down. Look, there's a couple of cocoons right there on that bread with all those mites. Um, so the worms, they go ahead and they do what they can do, and after the mites have done their business, it's a whole symbiotic ecosystem in your worm bin. Seeing lots of cocoons here. That one is probably pretty ready to be done, as is this one. It's Cocoon Palooza. Good name for an episode, isn't it? All right, let's continue to dig in here and, and see what we've got. Carrots, not so much. Looks like the bread and the banana peels are, they're making fast work of it. It looks like an onion, an end of an onion. And here's a really big cocoon. You see that? I don't know if it's just, you know, when a mature worm gets to be a big size, they have bigger cocoons. If anybody knows the answer to that, put that in the bottom in the comments. It makes sense that if a worm is bigger, it would have a bigger cocoon. I mean, they're all supposed to be European nightcrawlers in here, so... In theory, the only difference should be age. But there's a lot of different sizes in there. So the population is doing exactly what I want it to do and expanding. You see the little baby Tiny. He's a hatchling. He's not been out of the cocoon for very long. A day or, day or so. But they're making some good castings. And they're making fast work out of the food. All right, well, I think I'm going to give them still some food, but I'm going to put it over here in the far corner where we didn't see any food previously. These uh, carrots are going to take forever to break down, so we'll put those over here, and then we'll give them some food, some fast food, over in the other corner. Okay, so some apple goo, orange, and lemon. Put that over there. Give them a little grit just in case there's a little too much acid or something from the, the citrus as it breaks down. Yeah, those. Looks like the mites are working on the carrot. I mean, the worms can't do it, so. The mites break it down to a certain part, and then the wormies can go by and slurp it up. Okay. Well, I think 
I think that's a pretty good look at these guys. Cover them up and oops, here's a good one. Look at that. All right, well, enough playing with the worms, Anne. Oh, there's another good one. Hint, hint, hint. All right, well, if you like the video, give me a muddy thumbs up. And if you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what we're doing when we're doing it, ring that little bell icon. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody, have a good day.